if you or a family member has been diagnosed with keratoconus i'm sure there is a whole world of questions that you have and it's it's also something that might be worrying you which is why we'll be discussing this this important disease this important condition today i'm dr tushar grover i am a medical director and consultant at vision eye center in new delhi so what is keratoconus keratoconus is a progressive condition of the outermost layer of the eye which is called the cornea in this the cornea begins to weaken and begins to bulge outwards becoming conical in shape and because of this you get the symptoms that you experience in keratoconus this includes a gradual deterioration in vision your vision begins to deteriorate also you might be having frequent change of glasses this might be associated with allergies you might be rubbing your eyes frequently which is in fact a common cause of this condition so essentially your vision begins to blur to an extent where you might not be able to see clearly even with glasses on now can this condition be treated well the most important thing to do if you have keratoconus is to stop it from worsening that is to arrest or to limit progression of this condition which is why it's extremely important that you see a cornea specialist who will be able to do certain scans of your cornea to see if it is worsening they might want to see the scans again multiple times over a period of 3 to 6 months which gives them an idea on whether your condition is deteriorating if it is deteriorating it is extremely important to treat it by a surgical procedure called corneal collagen cross linking which basically gives your cornea that strength to prevent it from worsening so the other important component of treatment of keratoconus includes visual rehabilitation which means how do we improve the vision of a patient suffering from keratoconus for example if somebody is not able to see clearly even with their glasses the most common form of treatment given to them for vision is specialized contact lenses so there are lenses called rgps or rigid gas permeable lenses there are also lenses called scleral lenses both of these are extremely effective at improving the quality of vision that an individual has who is suffering from keratoconus there are other modalities available as well such as doing certain lasers to regularize the cornea and bring it back closer to the original shape of the cornea there are certain rings that are advised in some individuals which also help improve the quality of vision and finally in somebody who has extremely advanced form of keratoconus the treatment option is corneal transplantation so vision can be improved in somebody suffering from keratoconus and they can come back to doing extremely well with their routine activities and with their work apart from all of this that your treating ophthalmologist will take care it is extremely important for you that you do not rub your eyes rubbing your eyes is associated with worsening of keratoconus because it weakens the cornea further so please do not rub your eyes if you're suffering from keratoconus and if you have symptoms of allergy in the eyes such as itching then please see your treating surgeon treating ophthalmologist so that you can be given appropriate and adequate medication for that because controlling the allergy also helps to reduce or prevent worsening of keratoconus so apart from all of this that your treating ophthalmologist will do what is it that you can do to prevent or to reduce the worsening of keratoconus it is extremely important for you that you do not rub your eyes because rubbing of the eyes has been associated with worsening of keratoconus also if you do have symptoms of eye allergy like you have frequent itching in the eyes which makes you want to rub it is important that you see your treating ophthalmologist so that you can be given appropriate and adequate medication for that so if keratoconus has you worried please do not worry it is something that can be treated we can prevent worsening of the condition and with the technology available now we are able to give extremely good visual outcomes 
to patients who are suffering from keratoconus and there are various modalities to bring the vision back extremely close to normal in an individual who's suffering from keratoconus.